Developing now at 6, police say a Midland man has died after MPD responded to a single vehicle crash on County Road 130 on Saturday morning. Good evening, I'm Madeline Bierster. And I'm Carson Bush, Joe. Stay ABC Big 2's Rachel Hallam joins us now live in Midland. Rachel, you spoke with close friends of the victim who say they're just devastated. That's right, the victim was 23-year-old Jose Baeza. Police say Saturday after around midnight, he died at the scene of the crash because of his injuries. I spoke to some close friends of Baeza about the sudden loss. I don't think it was, I would say, you know, a right time to die. I don't think anybody has a right time to die, but I feel like he did live his life to the fullest and I'm sure he's in a better place. Early Saturday morning, one family received the worst news they could imagine after 23-year-old Jose Baeza from Midland died in a car accident. The Texas Department of Public Safety says Baeza was driving alone when he veered off County Road 130 and struck a metal fence and then a tree. Now friends and family of Baeza are at a loss for words at the sudden passing of someone so close to them. Shocked. Like, uh, in disbelief, because I just talked to him the other day, you know. I talked to him the day before just to see how he was doing, and we just talked, you know. So it's just like shock. I mean, I'm still shocked right now. I just think he's going to call me. Uh, but, you know, it's never going to happen again. Another friend of Baeza says losing someone so young shows you how fragile life really is. It was really uh, hard. Just because, you know, you go to sleep one day and then the next thing you know, you wake up in the morning and, and you see somebody that you've known for so long just is no longer with us. It's Life is so unexpected. Um, you don't anticipate those kind of news. Santiago, along with many others, says the impact Baeza had on their lives will be remembered forever. I can only remember good times with him. He, like I said, he had such a great heart, such a good soul. He always, he was one of those friends that always reached out to you. Santiago says he will be greatly missed by an entire community and that he touched the lives of all of those around him. I think it hit everybody hard. It hit everybody really, really hard to, to just know that we're never going to see him again. You know, we're never going to have that chance to hear his laugh or to see a smile. Fortunately, no one else was involved in the crash, but as of right now, Baeza's friends are still reeling from the sudden loss of a loved one and hope no one ever has to experience this type of heartbreak. Reporting live in Midland, Rachel Hallam, ABC Big 2 News.